Ashes, I'm Raven. Welcome to my channel. So I had to cut it off a little bit because these cards are new and sometimes I'm not even sure what I'm looking at. I'm also a little bit new to the cards. Uh, this is the Lenormand deck. So steampunk style. What we, what we are seeing here is the stars. They fell out in combination with another card, which turns out to be quite sexually energized. So, okay, so let's use the two together and let's say one modifies the other, but in what way? Uh, I'm not sure that <laughs> I'd rather say they amplify each other. So with uh, number 16 here, I think it's better to this one is great to read. So this is a recognition, success, guidance, peace, serenity, hope, light in the darkness, something you can trust. And uh, on with that card, on top of that card, we have the lilies. And so the lilies usually symbolizes something sensual, perhaps it can symbolize a relationship coming in, it can symbolize sexuality. So when in the days the Norman card were constructed by a couple of hundred years back in time, uh, it wasn't really appropriate to to draw two naked people making love, although the tarot card is almost there. Uh, so I don't know, but this is a symbol also for sexuality. We are going to put them on top of the stars. So if some of you are lucky, some of you are going to have sex on the beach, baby. So yeah, uh, I was getting a little confused here. I'm Raven from South Norway, casting from North India, <laughs> which is actually far more south than where I come from. Uh, I thought it would be colder here. Um, so these are the Norman cards. I haven't done Pisces in a while, so I thought let's find out what kind of energies are going on. Now we get two again. Two again. Some of you might have on your mind some kind of transformation or transit in your life. Perhaps you're looking to create a nest. But uh, you need a key in order to roast all your problems sufficiently. And, well, you have it. So some of you could actually be thinking of building a nest right now. What do you know? So what is below you is that you have good luck here. There is a good luck and fortune and everything. This is like finding a four clover. So getting this card simply means you have good luck ahead of you. And here you are as the main person. If you are a male, take it as a male. You popping up here, let's see. Okay, so what is what is above you then? And this is something that could weary your mind a little bit, is this tower. This is tower of power. Uh, it's a Tesla tower, Tesla pyramid. And right now, there could be a power institution that is going on your nerve. It could be someone in the authorities. And this is creating the transit in your life difficult. But because you have the key, because you have the key, 
there is a blessing to the situation that is coming in. So your health might also be some kind of a worry to you. Again, you have the key. Oh Lord, what is that? Oh yeah, that that thing is supposed to be the heart. <laughs> so it seems to me that there is some kind of love going on here. And you will have luck in it. And you you you're thinking a lot about this. However, there is one situation you're done with. There could be the love situation. If we do accounting here. Um, <clears throat> Just a technique I learned from the Lenormand experts. Do accounting. One, two, three. You can get an overall view. One, two, three. There could be a relationship that is completely dead and at the same time in the heart of the reed here we have the lilies so in your past you had the rider there was this messenger and uh, it could have something to do with the heart it could have something to do physically with your heart or trouble with your heart it could be anything from a heartbreak and um, it's connected to the stars where we find healing and sexuality and, and elegance these lilies also symbolizes grace and someone who are honorable and the writer is flying over here but he belongs to the past and he's flying away. He's giving you a message as he's uh, floating back wherever he comes from. Okay, so we will do a small check upon the ring. Yeah, we are still on pages. Pages, okay. So, now we have two, two and one. So yeah, there was definitely a letter here and it was connected to luck. It is connected to luck. And somehow in the past, you might have thought that the future you had of you you have ahead of you is dead. But then the, this letter is coming in. At that point, you really had the sun shining over you. You really had everything you need. So it's a contradiction, really. Something is dead. Someone is dead. It doesn't seem to bother you, actually. It, not, not with this facial expression, but not with, with the surroundings either. It seems like you're a little bit French, to be honest, a little bit. Ah, oh, let's have a glass of wine. Oh, yeah, this and this. Oh, the tower is falling. Oh, yes, this and this person is dead. Yeah, uh, do you have a cigarette? So, some of you could be a little bit nonchalant about the horrible news that are coming in your way. No, I am fine. So the tower is connected to a, a power institution and in this power institution we have a fourth person. The fox is a beautiful animal, one of my favorite animals in the whole world. But in the Norman deck they symbolizes fake people, liars, thieves, people you are not conversing with and they are in your power institution so they can have anything to do with something within the child department they could have something to do 
with your finances, you're applying for something and you're waiting and there is this jerk sitting there playing all bossy and shit and you want to kill them, but you can't. <laughs> so, okay. Let's, let's, let's give you the flowers, uh, you also, even the dog wants to get one. I'm a little curious with you in the middle of you. Here you are again. So now we have two females here. And so we could be talking about a divorce unless there were two of you. But here you are popping up in the middle of the reed, which is even more significant than the first woman popping up here. And trust me when I say there's another woman in here. <laughs> so we could be talking about a divorce to some of you, okay? <clears throat> All right, so let's check your health, the tree. Oh, shite. So regarding your tree of health we have the snake now never is never let's say never i don't like to to mix the kundalini energy with into the lenormand card because this symbolizes a pure evil person which you fear or you should fear them they are right above you but note that when it's landing on top of a tree, then you can, in fact, in this specific case, especially with the key card here, this, this will solve itself. You will get your transit. Then this, in fact, could symbolize Kundalini energy. It could symbolize the wisdom and everything we do like about the Nagas. It could also symbolize that with that key, you get a solution to the problem with the fake person and the evil person. Okay, so the heart. It seems to me that some of you might be uh, have some a little much. How do you say that in your veins? You could actually be in danger of getting a heart attack unless you take more care of your body. And you know, patients, you do like candy. You do, do. <laughs> you're just talking directly to 50% of my family members who are patients. So make sure that the veins around your heart are kept clean. And when it comes to your love life, keep it. Just let, you know, cut away all the clutter, okay? So, who is dead? What is dead? Show me, great spirit. <laughs> Again, the rider pops up twice. So, in this case, he's riding from you, or the other you, the parallel you, or the other woman, who carries with her the sun, could be a Leo, in another direction. So we seem to have a lot of vibrations and things and all sorts of things going on in this read. Starting to get kind of interesting if you ask me. So, on top of the key, you have another key. So one thing is get two cards that are all alike. But when you get two keys, two keys out of three, then uh, trust me, there is something coming in for you places that will give you a buttloads. Of joy. Let's check out that first rider. Oh, so what the, the first rider brings with him in his past was a buttload of go gossip. People who likes to talk 
a bitch and BS about everything and everyone. So he carries with him a message about what Paris is this doing today? Oh, she might have a lover. Oh, she's making love on the beach with someone. Oh, but what about her heart? She might have some issues with her heart, or is she is she heartbroken? Blah blah blah, yada 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 yada. So in this case, the messenger is landing directly on the coffin. Someone could be dead, and this could be your will. And since you didn't like the person who died, you might be very happy. Yeah, I know that was a very evil thing to say, but sometimes people, sometimes people die, and sometimes there are people who die who we we simply don't like. But now, give them a little bit benefit of your doubt. Tell, like them a little more. You, some of you, are about to inherit a butt, bitch, load of money, maybe. Okay, so something is crossing you. You want to settle down. So the anchor comes on top of the key. So you might have the power to do exactly that. So just like I said with the letter, money. Money, 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 abundance, that is the news. It's <laughs> hip hooray, okay? Luck, letter, money. You can, yeah, <laughs> you can't get better than that. So here we have a mail. So this could be your husband and he's landing on top of you, however strange that sounds with his son. And he is he's looking at the, the other messenger's ass. Uh, so but he's the one who is actually looking at the coffin. So it could be it could be a male version you. Who are across, or who are watching this? Or it could be female you, or it could be that this is about a couple or a divorce. So on the fox, we also have death. So the false person, one of them, is one of those who is going to die, or simply you finish them off with your love and a forty-five. We don't know. The situation will be done with one of the troublemakers in this read. So the snake is attached to a woman and she is also a main person. But I'd still say the main person is in the middle, either it is a female or a male. There is someone who who is giving you a lot of worry who is attached to that snake and this woman is pure evil uh, I would stay the heck away from her she could stress you so much into a degree it is actually affecting your health Pisces so stay away regarding your health Regarding the little mini site there, cleaning up the area, there is a ring coming in. Some of, some of you could get a proposal from a lover, or you could reunite with your ex. Who knows? But uh, emerald is quite beautiful, so who knows? Who knows? Okay. There is some messages here that involves a small child. And that's a little bit creepy because it's landing on top of death. Uh, it seems to me, I get the feeling that someone's child is being taken away or removed. 
and there's nothing you can do uh, about the situation um, it could be with have to do with some of the people who are in this institution here uh, on top who are false people so there might be some work here to be done so regarding the people who are chatting spreading gossip and all these things about you uh, it's a dead end to to worry about it now in the bottom card here you also have the stork again and let's get uh, some advice from the unicorns here regarding your cross Okay, so we have Sagittarius energy. It is a uh, knight of fire, knight of wands. This is someone who are very young in the 30s. They are very playful, they are fun to be around, but this is not someone you settle down with. So if they are the one that comes with the ring, they are seldom very reliable. So they come in as an advice for you to be more playful, for you to relax more, for you to get up on that horse and ride around and have fun. But do not get yourself involved with one of these. <laughs> he better have a lot of other placement in order for that. So give me another advice. You have 10 of F. So again, uh i would put my worries down ten of earth is ten of coins so this is also one uh, thing that the universe will remember uh, reminding you to that you alone as a piscean as a mermaid can manifest you already have great great cards here you also have ten of fire here something that was difficult for you is about to take an end thank you so much i'm raven have a beautiful weekend beautiful week